Hey, what is up everybody? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to help you out. There's currently an issue or an error code, uh, 409500 I believe, where you can't unlink your accounts um, for Call of Duty on Activision, for example, and therefore you can't play, you know, Warzone or on the PC. So I, for example, play on the Xbox. I play Modern Warfare. But I want to play Warzone, you know, this game right here, on PC and keep my progress. So, um, after researching several, you know, hours and, you know, Reddits and all that, messaging Activision, but they suck, of course. I found a solution that works for me. Hopefully it works for you. So, let's get started. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you're logged out from every Activision account that you have currently available log out of battle.net as well make sure that if you have a xbox companion app for example you log out of that too um your phone as well basically everything so once that's done you're going to go to your activision account you're going to go to profile basic info and um you're going to want to go ahead and change this email to any other email you have access to and save it and just for, you know, for Pete's sake, Kevin's sake, whatever, just go ahead and unlink everything. Google usually saves it anyways, so you can just quickly uh, link back. So then you're gonna hop over to your Blizzard account. You're gonna go under your account details, go to your email, change the email as well, update it, and then, you know, your connections, unlink them as well. So for both Activision and Blizzard, you're going to want to verify the account. Wait maybe like 10 minutes. That way they uh, verify the email. My, my bad. And then wait like 10 minutes for the uh, updates to take effect. So now if you go back to your Activision account, go ahead and change the email to the desired email you want to use. Save it. At this point, you can start linking up if you want. <clears throat> verify the email wait 10 minutes and at the same time you can also go ahead and go back to your email here on blizzard update it to your preferred email save it verify and also wait 10 minutes you know you can do it at the same time then wait 10 minutes of course that's what i meant <laughs> and then open up your launcher make sure you are logged out from that as well log back in and then go ahead and launch Warzone. You should be able to go ahead and retrieve um, all the, the stuff that you had, um, your progress and such, and you should be good to go. Now for those tuning in to um, find a fix for that black screen, basically that usually has to do with uh, something needing to update or your settings are not matching what your PC can run. So one fix is that you can go to options scan and repair or check for updates that's going to go ahead and uh, run this little bar make sure that everything's good and then if you check for updates there you go up to date make sure that's up to date you can check your drivers make sure they're up to date for pc um, make sure that your gaming card is up to date or updated basically anything you can think of that uses this computer just update it and then change your settings as well to match correctly what you're doing and then you should be able to go ahead and launch and play and yeah that's basically it your last resort is to uninstall the launcher uninstall the game and then redo everything don't factory reset your computer you don't want to do that um, but yeah that's basically it i try to keep this as short as possible this is what i did to uh, fix my game and finally be able to play it thank god um and hopefully it helps you out yeah hope um hopefully you enjoyed like and subscribe follow me on my other social media if you have any questions i'll try to answer them uh when these when i make these videos they're just to inform you i know that it sucks to spend a lot of time looking for an answer so i figured why not make a quick video if i have an answer you know um but yeah i'll try to reply and answer your questions if i can otherwise i'll direct you back to doing what i did but yeah, that's basically it. If you have any further tips for you know people in the comment section, just go ahead and uh, post them. Yeah, thanks for watching. Later.
Hey, so I figured since I already have you here, I might as well teach you how to update your drivers. So, so on the search bar, I went ahead and uh, searched my graphics card, which is NVIDIA, um, also known as GeForce Experience, which is correlating with that. Um, once you go there, for example, on mine, it just says basically check for updates express installation custom installation you just click it and it's going to do its own thing and that's basically it but for those of uh you who don't have this you're going to go to your windows logo you're going to right click you're going to go to device manager and then you're going to wait okay this is my thing yes i do want it to do that so as you can see it's installing something who knows what I mean I literally just updated it and then you know just go through your things for example display adapters just go ahead and update update this is my graphics card as well and then um, for those of you that didn't know you can actually update your monitors and I know I'm missing something else but yeah I don't know just mess around with it look at what you can update uh, don't delete anything that you don't know what it is because more than likely you probably need it and yeah that's it that's the the addition of this video um, now you definitely have to give me a like so you can see it found something here oh okay no all right all right that's it uh later like subscribe follow